Okay, this is the continuation of my video uh, that I published a month ago to see how the cuttings are doing. Uh, this is how they are now. Doing really good. Still have them in the plastic bottles with uh, with the soil on the sand on the tap I need to water this one it's a little bit dry Let's see this one I put them in the black pot so the roots are, are not exposed to light. <laughs> they do pretty good. There's another. Of the same ones that I have here. And I'm waiting for these ones to show roots, to put them in plastic bottles to, uh, this is, I can put this one already, this is, this is ready to go into soil. See this one? Yeah, this is ready to. Mm, but I'm gonna wait like maybe four or five more days. Of these ones too. I'm planning to put in soil. I'm checking on my grass too. Um, this is the some grass that I made. Uh, this I did it on December 22nd. They're growing like crazy. All of these are grafts too that I keep. I think this is from January something, I don't remember the date. But they're doing pretty good too. Del Bispe. This is another graph that I made on December 22nd too. Growing like crazy. Look at that one. The grass scratch crazy grow. Look at those grass here too. Oh, look at these are grass, weeping tongue and cleft grass. That's what I mostly do. But now I'm experimenting with um, bud graph, chip bud graphs, and I'm pretty excited. I ran out of rootstock, so to do the clef and um, whip and tongue, so I'm experimenting with uh, with this type of chip and bud, and this one took. See. This is another one, it was growing like, it was the prime of light, I put that light there because it was growing so thin. This is 
chip pop and chip to this one here to this one here too this is Grigio and that one there that one is beautiful this is Tio Antonio from Ficaholics from Harvey Correa I love I love these three graphs that I made here this is uh, Cosme Manio Dolca and then Bota. This graph of uh, Oro Bianco grew like crazy to look at the graph there. Clef and look look at the growth. But I I did this one I think it was in November. This one too. That one is not going to take. But this one is was growing so aggressive that I cut the little tip in the top to slow it down. This is uh, an earlier that I did last year of Black Sadar. And look at how it is now. Yes, I think it's two brevas. And put it back, put it in the backyard in May. This is another graph here. Put the graph here. It's another graph on the back. All of these are graphs. All of these. This is another chip, chip and bud here that I did here. It's going beautiful. There's another one here. This is the tres a place. I think it is a breva too. And I even knew that the tres a place had brevas. Can produce brevas. I'm very excited about this one here, this graph. This is Sangre de Caballo. Another graph here, Popon. This one is growing good. Fico Rocha. These are uh, other graphs and some her layers that I did last year, but the graphs that I did uh, like two, one month ago, like this Moro di Caneva, I did this one on February the 9th, and it took, look at it here, this is Moro di Caneva, and there's another Moro di Caneva here, I did it in the same date, February 9th. Oh, this is one that I have problems rooting past February 5th. And even I fail two graphs prior to this, twice. And thank God this one took past February 5th. This is Rosso di Goni. Albacor Comuna and this is my the most prolific grower of all my graphs this is boysenberry blush it's growing like crazy this is a graph from last year I took another layer from there and then we grew again. This is a strawberry teardrop. Look at the fig here. 
Uh, this is another strong grower. This is um, De La Señora Hibernenka. I did this one. Um, uh, should be the date November 27th. And it's growing very, very strong. This is Coralo. Uh, this is Parajalina. This is Tia Pena. This is another graph that I have here. This is Bordisot Rosa. Blava Campanera. Blanche de Argentuil. Mick Parajal. The, the graph from the back there is Balafi. Those three graphs there are the same on Reza. This is my graph from Black Celeste. Celeste Black, uh, November 18. This one is crosses. I had to cut the tip too because it was growing too much. It's crosses. Fifth moon crosses. This is another graph that I made very vigorous grow with Cosme Manu. This one here. And this one here is Consellera Negra from Pons. Beltmont Beauty. The other one is Cotio Verdal. Ondata. This is Regata Rosa. This one is very, very strong grower. Have I want four different graphs of this one. This is Eve Black Cherry. I have this graph. There's another one there. There's one, another one in the middle, and this one on the side. This one, if you have a, a little fake here, and this one I did in December 22nd too. The graph. This is Eubon of Fifth. Uh, to mount and Nerusiolo de Elba and that one there is Cherry Cordial. This is another graph of, and this is this one is Safiro grafted there. It's growing very well too. This is another cosme cosme mine. There, this is another Moro di Caneva uh, grafted there, cheap but And this is a, uh, I made this side uh, graph. This is white all years. I'm pretty sorry about this one too. I did it like that because I didn't have like root stock to graph on, on the same caliper and then I, uh, I'm gonna do it there hopefully it takes and took this is another this one I bought this tree from it was very little but it looks like a tissue culture from eBay they say that it's magnolia and I see that it has like breva here this like four it might be breva because it's in the last year wood this is another very aggressive one graph that i made this is belvedere growing like crazy belvedere i have another belvedere here And that one is as uh, a sang, la sangre. And this is 
because uh, the bears from Figo du Monde, I had to cut it in the top too because it reached the ceiling there. So I, I cut the tip. That one is La Cantina Negra. Sick cottonies. Another graph here. This is another graph here that is growing beautiful. This is Albacor Blanca. That one there is was a tiny tip that I graphed there. It's black algiers and it's growing beautiful. This one is Saint Martin. I made like two little graphs there. This this is also uh, Bass' favorite fake. It's, it looks that it's going to take. This one here is Joral. And this graph here is in Sesak. And this is uh, my Sesak L layer from last year. It's growing good. This is uh, a layer that I did for Calderama Mutante. And I put this to try to root this one to, uh, like uh, two, three weeks ago. This is Amator from Fig du Monde. It's already showing the roots there. Let's see how they do those ones. It's showing the roots there too. What is this? Cool Noir. And this one is Madeline de Dois Saisons. And this one is Bordisot Blanca. That graph there is Dorca. And that one there is Calderona de Miner. Or Calderona de Miner. If you're not a Spanish speaking person will say that um, Car de Calderona de Miner, but it's Spanish is Calderona de Miner. That graph there is um, Bordisot Negra Rimada. Look at the nets, I put this fly traps because the gnats have an infestation here so what to do and there's another graph or Bordisot Negra Rimada okay they are variegated already um, that's Calderona de Miner And that one is called the Dama Roja. And this one here is, let me see, Basilica Melisi. This is Pilosa. And that one is Ul de Perdue. This one here is Parachalina. This is Great Black. And this is Forastera de Canary Butte. And this Sister Madeline Yellow. Uh, but this is, I don't know, just going to make it. It's, it's not growing or like it should be. But hopefully it will make it. And um, this one here is, this one here is, what is this one here? Popon. This is Popon. This is Popon. 
some needle beetle. Is that another grab casting yet? Another graph here is Torrente. Another little graph. This is uh, Black Asia. I have another graph here. Violeta Patrican. The other one is Nefiage. This one is a Smith. And the other one is I320. Italian 320. This one is Ravin de Calce. This one here is Deca. This one here. This is Amacor. This is Constance. And this is Bordisot Blanca. It's growing really good. This one here, this graph is Cateto. This is another graph that took Alba de Moya Vermella. I love this one. I, this, this was my tiniest graph. It's really, really tiny. And it took, this is Black Manzanita. This is another tiny, tiny graph here. This is Fico Mujra. It took another graph that took cast the birds from fifth to month. This is a tree that I have of Sardana with has plenty of figs growing there. Sardana. This is another graph of crosses. I got like three figs there. And this is a graph of Corallo. Corallo. And this is Spanish Unknown. This is another graph here of the Ponte. The spelling is not right. It should be a A after the U. Elbon. Translate this from French. Uh, it means I'm good. It's another graph. This is another graph here. Cotio Verdial another graph here Blanca Flor another graph that hasn't grown the uh, good Bosco Rosso from Cramp it's another one Cateto this one he here is Barran Figmont that one is Marsellesa. I can see that one. I think that one is. Uh, no. I, this graph here is Saint Martin. It's going beautiful. It's growing beautiful. Brianzolo Rosso. This one is Verdal de Oriola. It's growing nice too. This Cosme is not growing that good. This is Planera. Another graph. And this is Buscareta. That's my titi yellow crinkle growing like crazy I took a, a layer from this one last year the, called it a mamutante it's growing again 
That was a graph that I made last year. This one I took another layer to from this one and it's growing again. From that graph, this is Super Jumbo. The graph there is Dolka. And that graph there is Rosa Esmeralda. That's a beautiful graph too there. De los Ojetes. There's another graph here, White Madeira number one. I made two graphs on this. This and this, and both took. And the one there, oh my god, I forgot about this one. It's not growing good, this is Cucurella. It's not, it's not growing good. Let's hope you make it. 